Welcome Facebook friends and family to my backyard. We, we still have grandchildren uh, in my study and so here I am. And today is a special day in Israel. It is uh, the, in, the, in the Hebrew, in uh, the Mishnah, they say no days were as festive in, uh, for Israel as the 15th of Av and Yom Kippur. Now, the, uh, so today is the is called. It's a 15th day on the month of the Hebrew day uh, month of Av, and it is. Uh, it's called in Hebrew. It's called Tu B'Av. Now, remember, last weekend we had Tisha B'Av. That's a ninth of Av. Now, you know, this may sound confusing to you, but think of coming from another country and we're celebrating the 4th of July and they have no idea what's going on. So I want you to keep aligned with the Hebrew calendar because uh, we are aligned with Israel. We're grafted into the vine. And um, on, on, on um, Yom Kippur, that's after 40 days when Moses was up interceding for the children of Israel. For the After that, after he was up there 40 days, he came down and he said, God has forgiven you. And, and so that was a joyous time. Well, on Tubiov, that this was um, in, the first thing that happened on Tubiov, remember they were in the wilderness for 40 years because the 10 spies, remember last week we, we talked about the 10 spies uh, that gave the evil report that God, that the giants were, were more mightier than God and they couldn't go into the promised land. And so that began the series that things that happened on the 9th of Av. Well, every year on the 9th of Av for 40 years, because God said that those that those men that made that decision uh, would die in the wilderness, that, that they would be in the wilderness for the, t the entire time uh, they would die. They would not be able to go into the promised land. Well, you know, the interesting thing is, um, I, I've been studying in, in studying the Jewish history and stuff, that every year on the ninth of Av, these men that were uh, that that made the decision for their families and for their nation that they would not go into the promised land, uh, they would each dig a grave and they would lay in that grave and wait. And if the next morning that they hadn't died, then they would have another year to live. And you know, about fifteen thousand. Um, let's see, fifteen. Uh, Let's see, I'm going to read this to you. On each Tisha B'Av for 40 years, those who reached the age of 60 that, 60 that, that year died. 15,000 each on the 9th of Av. They died. And, but what happened on the 40th year is those men that reached the age of 60 years old uh, laid in their graves and nothing happened. So they thought, well, maybe we got the date wrong. So they laid it another night, nothing happened. And the next night, nothing happened. And then when it came to be the full moon, which is the 15th of Av, they said, God has forgiven us and there'll be no more dying. And so, you know, the, the, the miracles happened in the wilderness, but that was the judgment that God had on that time. Um, and so the plague ended on the, ninth, on the 15th of Av. So that, that is the first thing that happened. Uh, the, sex, the second thing that happened, uh, on the on uh, the second and third thing that happened on on the, um, that month, I'm not going to go over everything. There's six things that happened on two beyond, but they're in my Bible. I'm going to grab my Bible here, and I don't know if you can see this backwards, but in Judges, read it. Judges chapter 19, 20, and 21. It says the worst story in the Bible. I actually have that written there. The worst story ever. And this is where that Levite had the concubine, and he went into the area of Benjamin, and uh, he, you know, he was staying with someone, and, and the Benjamites were knocking on the door, and they wanted him. Well, uh, the, the Benjamin tribe was, was very uh, homosexual-oriented, and, and they, they were perverted men. I'm going to read to you 20, uh, 1922. As they were enjoying themselves, certain men of the city, perverted men, surrounded the house and beat on the door. They spoke to the master of the house and the old man saying, bring out the, the man who came to your house that we may know him carnally. 
See, they wanted the Levite priest. They didn't want, want the woman. But what the Levite priest did is he gave them his concubine. And so they, they abused her all night long. She crawled to the, and put her hand on the threshold because there's a threshold covenant happening in that house. And putting her hand on that threshold, she was saying, avenge me. And, and uh, so he came out and he saw that his concubine was dead. And what did he do? He cut her into pieces. He, he cut her into 12 pieces and sent each piece to each tri head of each tribe of the 12 tribes. And he said, we have to avenge the Benjamites. And what happened um, is, let's see, when you get into chapter 20 in verse 35, uh, it says, um, okay, my five minutes is up, but I'm not up right now. Uh, 40, uh, verse 44, 18,000 Benjamites died. 45, 5,000 of them on highways, uh, 2,000 of them, and 2,000 of them give them, and 47, 25,000. There were very, very, very few that remained. And so what happened is they, they said, there is a, an annual feast, and it was on the 15th of August. We will allow the Benjamites that, that are still alive, and there weren't very many because they did not want that tribe to to totally be done with. They, they said, we will allow those remaining Benjamites to, to pick one of the girls as they go out into the, into the woods and they dance the virgin, the dance of the virgins. And so that became the day that, that the Benjamin tribe survived. And there was several different things. There are six different things. If you want to look it up on the internet, look up to be of, T-U-B hyphen of. Uh, or the 15th of Aug, you'll find it that way too. 15, six different things that happened. But this is one of the most joyous days on the Hebrew calendar. So enjoy your day. Have a great life. God bless.